After getting the ID of the person, who sent the message to the Facebook page, the next thing we will do, is to send a response message, to the user with this ID. Returning to the Facebook's documentation, we are familiar with the page scope ID, also known as the sender ID. In order to be able to send messages to users, we will be familiar with Facebook events. These events, will be sent to our webhook, letting us know, if the user has sent a text message, an image, or a sticker. Generally, the messenger platform sends webhook events, to notify you of actions, that occur in messenger. In this function, we will check the names of events, which Facebook sent to the webhook. If it was a messaging event, we would call the message handler function. Opposite. If it is the event sending the post back, we will call the post back handler function. At the same time, in these two functions, we also pass the event, and the sender ID to the handler functions. Next, we will write code for these two functions. Copy this function, and overwrite our function. We copy this block code, then go back to the IDE. We overwrite the handle message function. Here, we create a variable, called response. We will check if the message sent, is a text message or not, because it is possible, that users send pictures, stickers, not text messages. We will attach an object, to the response variable, including the response message. Finally, we call the send API, to send the message. We will write the send API function now. Copy function send API, and overwrite our function. In the call send API function, first, we need to create a request body object, including the recipient ID, and the text response. Next, we make a HTTP request to send the message to Facebook user. We copy this block code, then go back to the IDE. In this function, we use the page access token parameter. This is why in the webhook setup for the Facebook app, we created this token. This token parameter is required, always passed on the Facebook page API. Time to send your first message, with the messenger platform send API. In handle message, we are calling call send API, so now we need to update it, to construct the full request body, and send it to the messenger platform. A request to the send API has two properties. Recipient, sets the intended message recipient. In this case, we identify the person by their PSID. Message, sets the details of the message to be sent. Here, we will set it, to the message object, which we passed in from our handle message function. In this quick start, we are using the Node.js request module, for sending HTTP requests back to the messenger platform. To install the request module, run, npm install request from the command line, then import it to the top of this file. In order to use the request package, we import the request package. Import request from request. Then, go back to the call send API function. We will update the Facebook API version. Right here, we use the newest version, 7.0 In Messenger, send another text message to your Facebook page. You should receive an automated response from your Messenger experience, that echoes back your message, and prompts you to send an image. Since our response, prompts the message recipient, to send an image, our next step, is to update our code to handle an attachment. Your messenger experience can send, and receive most asset types, including images, audio, video, and files. To determine if the message is an attachment, update the conditional in your handle message function, to check the received message for an attachment's property, then extract the URL for it. In a real world bot, we would iterate the array, to check for multiple attachments, but for the purpose of this quick start, we will just get the first attachment. Next, we will respond to the image, with a generic template message. The generic template, 
is the most commonly used structured message type, and allows you to send an image, text, and buttons in one message. You can copy this block code like me, or copy the whole function, then replace our function. I copy the part to create a response message. We paste the block code right here. This is a generic template message. Allows us to send text and buttons at the same time. We have two buttons to send to the users. One yes, and one no. The yes, and no buttons are calling post back button. The payload property, is the button ID. We use the payload to know which button users interact. Our last step, is to handle the messaging post backs webhook event, that will be sent when the message recipient, taps one of the post back buttons in our generic template. Since our generic template, allows the message recipient, to choose from two post back buttons, we will respond, based on the value of the payload property, of the post back event. To do this, update your handle post back stub to the following. To test what we did, we will deploy the code to Heraku. If everything went well, you just finished building your first messenger experience. In this function, we simply check the payload message. If the payload equal yes, we send a text response, saying thank you. Otherwise, send a text response saying to send another image. Finally, we call the send API function, to send the response message to the Facebook user. After we succeed to deploy the project to Heraku, now, it time to test our chatbot. Open your Facebook fan page. First, we will send a text message. If our bot is working, it will send a reply message immediately, including our text message, and asking for sending an image. Try again with another text message. The message response structure always the same, because we only build a simple bot, without using natural language processing. Next, we will send an image. Choose a random image from your computer, then send to the bot. Wait a moment for the bot receives the image. As you can see, we have a generic message, including the image we sent. And two buttons, yes and no. Let click on the no button. We have a reply message. And the yes button. A thank you message. Our bot is working. Really simple. In this video, you already learned the basic steps to build your own messenger bot. If you have any errors, please let me know by comment below this video. Thank you for watching my videos. Have a good day, and see you in the next videos.